ਭਾਰਤ ਮਾਤਾ ਕੀ ਮੇਰੀ ਬਿੱਲੀ ਬਣੀ ਬਣੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਮਿਆਉ ਮਿਆਉ ਸੋ ਹਾਈ ਗਾਇਸ ਗੁੱਡ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ ਆਜ ਹਮ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਦੋਸਤੋਂ ਕੋ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਤਾਜ ਮਹਿਲ ਯੈਸ ਸੋ ਆਜ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਐਕਸਾਈਟਿਡ ਗਾਇਸ ਯੈਸ ਯੈਸ तो काफी टाइम से इन सब का एक सपना था ये एक्चुअली ये यहां पे रहते नहीं है मेरा भाई भी एनआर आई है और ये ऑस्ट्रेलिया से आए हैं सारे और एक मेरी दोस्त है जो पीछे फ्रांस से है तो इनका एक सपना था कि इनको ताजमहल देखना है लास्ट टाइम आपने विशाल देखा कभी मैंने तो देखा यार कई बार देखा अच्छा लास्ट टाइम थाओ ने भी देखा था जो मेरी भाभी है एंड शी इज थाओ तो आज हम वहां पे जाएंगे ताजमहल देखते हैं और अपने दोस्तों को घुमाते हैं और देखते हैं कौन-कौन सी चीज हम कवर कर पाएंगे वो भी करेंगे इस वीडियो में तो मेरे साथ जा रहे हैं मेरे अंकल भी हैं जो ऑस्ट्रेलिया में रहते हैं और पिछले 30 साल से इससे पहले ये वियतनाम का जो बैकग्राउंड है जो वियतनाम से तो मैं इनसे पूछूंगा इनकी लैंग्वेज में कि आप ताजमहल क्यों देखना चाहते हो तो नोवा दिन वेट ओके भैया तो जो सेम टेन पी दो वेटर में ना जनरल तो मुंह बुक लांग बैल दे सेम बार दे लो बाद तो the creation of taj mahal and it is very synonymous with india the following in this time i would like to ask you the same question which akash asked you but you must reply in french okay so why do you want to see taj mahal parce que uh, pour nous étrangers particulièrement les français uh, ça symbolise uh, l'inde et uh, je serais très curieuse de découvrir l'histoire la richesse de, de, de ce Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Now I need to now I need to find a translator. <laughs> <laughs> but but that's fine. That's fine, you know. So, humne liya pehla stop jo ki humne kaha chalo chai wagaira peete hain aur haan ji aap kya khaoge? Chai piyenge thodi si. और फैशन चाय पीनी है चाय पीनी है एंड यू व्हाट द क्वेश्चन चाय चाय पीनी है आई हैव टू रिपीट चाय पीनी चाय पीनी है तो इन्हें हम पिलाने जा रहे हैं कुल्लड़ वाली चाय How's the chai? Thick. Thick. How's the tea? Mm, delicious. <laughs> And your well, uh, coconut well. water? Okay, good. <laughs> How's the taste? All right, good. Yeah. Taj Mahal abhi bahut dur hai. Inko ab hum Hindi sikhayenge. Se Taj Mahal. Aur कितना दूर रह गया तो हाउ फार इज ताज महल कभी जो साथ हाउ फार इज ताज महल मुझे इंडिया मुझे इंडिया बहुत अच्छा लगा लगा यस अच्छा लगा अच्छा लगा यस अच्छा लगा पंजाबी आदि होगी बले बले हंड्रेड रुपीज बले ना भी नो वरी ये लो एंट्री कहाँ से है ये अभी आगे से एंट्री निकाली लगाए जब भी आप ताजमहल आओगे यहाँ पे एक इसको क्या बोलते हैं भैया इस गाड़ी को गोल्फ कार गोल्फ कार गोल्फ कार गोल्फ कार तो इसमें आप बैठो फॉरनर के लिए फ्री है और इंडियंस के लिए ट्वेंटी रुपीज़ है 
तो चलिए आपको लेके चलते हैं अब तो ये भाई साहब हमारे गाइड है हेलो सर आपका नाम क्या है भाई साहब इरशाद इरशाद भाई और आप जब भी आओ आप भाई से कॉन्टैक्ट कर सकते हैं बाकी मैं आपके अंदर जाके भाई की डिटेल्स वगैरह आपको मैं शेयर करता हूँ मैं जब भी आए तो मैं प्रेफर ये करता हूँ कि आप यहाँ से इनका स्कैन कोड लगा यहाँ से टिकट बुक करें जो कि फॉरनर की जो है इनकी वेबसाइट पर भी जा सकते हैं क्विक बुकिंग ताज क्विक बुकिंग ताज महल और जो फॉरनर की टिकट्स है वो तेरह सौ रुपये है बट कैश में और यहाँ पे जब हम करते हैं तो बारह सौ पचास लगती है और इंडियन की टू फिफ्टी है और टू फोर्टी पड़ती है तो बट ये है कि आप लाइन वगैरह से सारे बच सकते हैं अभी तो लाइन इतनी नहीं है यहाँ पर So now I start to explain you about here. Then after I take you inside. So now we are all standing in the forecourt of Taj Mahal, and it's called courtyard of Taj Mahal. Do you know courtyard? Courtyard. This is the courtyard. Courtyard. Of Taj. Yes, this is the courtyard of Taj Mahal, and there are three entrance gate of Taj Mahal. Which we are coming. This is a gate that is called Western Gate of Taj. The King Shah Jahan who built Taj Mahal inside, he had a first wife. and her name was Fateh Puri Begum and she was buried outside of this gate of his first wife straight one over there that is called eastern gate of Taj the king Shah Jahan had a second wife and her name was Akbar Begum and she was also buried outside of this gate like first wife i mean they having a tomb first wife having a tomb on western gate second wife having a tomb on eastern gate this is the gate over there that is called south gate of Taj Mahal and that is the gate over there that is called labor colony gate the people who work in taj mahal the same descendant of them is still living over there that's why that is called labor colony gate and now have a look here this is the beautiful main entrance gate of taj mahal in northern side and this is a gate this is called principal gate of taj mahal the royal gate of taj mahal because after this beautiful main entrance gate of taj mahal you see one of the new seven wonder of the world but now have a look the height of this gate 105 feet about 35 meter and if you don't mind can you count how many domes are there a small one white one on top 11 you are right 11, 11 is here on front side exactly same like that 11 on other side 11, 11. so 11 plus 11 22 you are right so taj mahal took 22 years so oh. this is the significance of that okay because in that time in those days no calendar no computer that's why in each year they put each dome oh, yeah. to represent per dome per year second beauty of this gate can you see the writing on the gate arabic writing in flower on the gate can you see yes this is look like a color or painting mm. but that is not a color not a painting that is all inlaid into the marble by the semi precious stones and these are the verses of the quran the writing the letters came from the holy book of quran and this is called surah al fajr means early morning prayer okay second thing you are looking around here there are small small like this 210 rooms This is room. Yeah, these are two hundred ten rooms. In that time, in those days in Agra, there is no any hotel, there is no any guest house. People are here to see Taj Mahal. They live in this room. That's why this is called this is the room for those days and those time. Taj Mahal this is one of the nine seven wonder of the world but do you know why that is called one of the wonder why because if you see from here everything is here perfectly same and symmetrical first of all have a the garden they are same by the side the design is the same from the both sides the way people are going and coming same as well 
the fountain which is you see in the tank that is right in the center of that pinnacle. The buildings are near same from inside and outside. So everything is here equal, symmetrical, identical. That's why that is called one of the wonders. But once you stand inside the tank, you see the reflection, which is second best picture of Taj Mahal. So I told you about here. Everything is here perfectly same and symmetrical. That's why that is called one of the wonders. But can you see the bench over there? People are sitting on the bench and having a picture over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Over there, they, these are the benches over there, these are the local benches are here. But do you know why that is called local bench are here? Because of that, that is the bench made in this stone. Okay. And this is a stone, this is called red sand stone. This is a local stone locally found in India everywhere in the site. And most of the buildings that are in India in the site are made in this stone. This is a bench also made in that stone, so that's why that is called local bench, because made in local stone. But once you sat, on, sat down on the bench, they cover garden and touch more very beautifully nice. You can see nice walls on the bench as well if you like. This is the bench over there, the white bench. Mm -hmm. That is the bench that is called VIP bench. Okay. The President of America, Bill Clinton, he came here with the daughter of Charles. He took pictures on that bench mm -hmm. from England, Princess Diana. From France, Sarkozy. From Russia, Mr. Putin. From Canada, Justin Trudeau. Around about two years ago, Donald Trump. He's here with his wife, with a daughter, with Ivanka. He took the picture on the bench as well. So that's why that is called VIP bench. And today you are here, VVIP. <laughs> Do you know why you are the VVIP here? Because you are with this guys. So that's why. So, so that's why that is called VIP bench. So today you are here also VVIP. You can also make the picture on the bench as well. From France, right now the Macon. Oh yeah. He also came here. Crown of uh, male, crown of the palace. Taj crown means, of the palace. Taj means crown and male means palace, so it's called crown of the palace. Now, how about the height of Taj Mahal? Top to bottom, bottom to top, 243 feet, about 81 meters. And height of this tower, height of this tower, 165 feet, about 53 meters. But now you see the tower, see the pillar, it looks like a straight like this. But they're not straight. Have a look at them very carefully. They're slightly leaning out like this outward. All four is like that, but do you know why it is like that? In case if there is earthquake came in Agra, the tower, the pillar, it's not going to fall down at the main building. All four tower, four pillars, they're going to fall outward. So the architecture of this building is from Turkey. The architecture of the architecture is from Turkey, the name of him Muhammad Isa Afandi. He is really very intelligent, very smart. He think in that time, in those days, if he make tower straight like this, and if there is earthquake, it will be gone here or there, he is not sure. But when he make tower slightly leaning out like this, so he is damn sure when there is this kind of happen like earthquake, they are definitely going to fall outward if they are tilted out like this, if they are leaning out like this. Taj Mahal, this is built by Shah Jahan, and Shah Jahan, he was the fifth Mughal emperor. Who built this Taj Mahal? Who built this Taj Mahal in the memory of his third beloved, beautiful wife for the Mumtaz Mahal? Actually, the Queen Mumtaz, she born in Iran. But when she born in Iran, Iran called her. And the real name of her Arjuman Mano Begum. What? Arjuman mm. Mano Begum. The real name of the Queen. The King Shah Jahan, he born in Pakistan at Lahore. But when he born in Pakistan, Pakistan it is a part of India. The real name of him, Prince Khurram. Khurram. So the King and Queen they got married in 1612. And Queen she died in 1630. After one year, they started to build Taj Mahal in 1631 to complete in 1653. So Taj Mahal took 22 years by 20,000 people, by the 20,000 workers. But the main building of Taj Mahal, the white one, took a time to complete 17 years. But do you know, do you know why the main building of Taj Mahal took a time to complete 17 years? Because there is lots of detailing. Detailing. There are lot. There are, there are lots of retailing, there are lots of workmanship, that's why it takes 17 years to complete. And the rest of the building which is you looking around here, this is all complete in 5 years, around here. This is the building over there that is called mosque for the Muslim people to pray. Exactly the same building he made on that side that is called guest house. They both are same symmetrical from inside or outside. This is the building over there that is called water palace. Exactly the same building he made on that side that is called museum nowadays. And this is the main entrance gate of the There's five buildings around here, complete in five years. 17 plus wife become, become, become 22 to 22 years by 20,000 people. But first of all, I tell you one thing, Taj Mahal, it's a mausoleum. 
Taj Mahal. It's a mausoleum. It's a graveyard. Nobody stay here. Nobody lives there. Everybody lives in Agra Fort. Agra Fort. It's nearby here. That is the castle where they used to live. I told you outside the king Shah Jahan had a two wife, mm. Fatehpuri Begum and, and Akbari Begum. With that two wife, he don't had a children because with that two wife, he had arranged marriage like in India. With this wife, with third wife, he had a love marriage. That's why with this wife, in 19 years of married life, he had a 14 children. 14 children. In 19 in 19 years of married life, out of 14 children, eight died on delivery time. Mm. And six alive, and the six four boys and two girls. They are survive in those days and those times. Taj Mahal. It is decorated by three kind of work. Can you see the writing on the building? Arabic writing and flower on the building. Mm. This is the first work of Taj Mahal for decoration. That is called inlaid into the marble. Second work is carving, and third one that is called filigree work, which is I'm going to show you inside the white building. All right. Uh-huh. The main building of Taj Mahal. This is made in white marble. This white marble it came from Rajasthan. Mm. In Rajasthan there is a city Makrana, which is about like 350 kilometer far from here. So this white marble it came by elephant ride by camel ride by horse ride because in that time in those days there is no available transportation i can beauty of this marble this is transparent i mean to say according according to the light they change color like sunrise sunset moonlight but the best time the best view in the night in full moon it's become milky way so any question do you have right now about this place no everything is far on good yeah theek hai this side this is west or if you go in east side or if you go in back side or if you come in front side you always find you you are in front of taj mahal because all the four side of this building same and symmetrical when people they come in morning to see taj mahal in sunrise they goes in that side when sun is rising from the east side light goes on that side of taj mahal from that side they change color reddish pinkish yellowish when people they come in evening to see in sunset they came in this side when sun is going to set here they change color from that side but the best time the best view in the night in full moon it become milky way but in that time taj mahal is not People not allowed to come to see Taj Mahal. People are allowed just five days in a month when the full moon is here. For that, people have to do advance ticket booking. In that time, people are allowed only main entrance gate, not all the way to Taj Mahal in the night time. I told you outside Taj Mahal it is decorated by three kind of work. This is the first one. This is called inlay work. It look like a color or painting. I told you about this, but this is not a color, not a painting. This is all inlaid into the marble by the semi precious stones. But in this stone, can you see the red stone in the flower over there? Red one. Everywhere in Taj Mahal, in the flower inside, outside, you see this stone. And the beauty of this stone, when you put a flashlight, when you put a torch light in the dark, it's glowing like a fire, like a burning shard in the dark. And inside is not allowed torch light or flashlight, so I'll show you with the flashlight if you want to see outside. It's the second work of Taj Mahal. This is called carving into the marble by hand by chisel. Single piece of the block from here to there. This is one piece of the block. In one piece of the block, they make like this five design around about 400 years back without machine. After this, you see inside the third inside the inside the Taj Mahal third work of Taj Mahal, which is called filigree work. Like a screening, which is I'm going to show you inside, and then and the tomb of the king and queen. That you see. This is a river. This is called Yamuna River. Yeah. The river Yamuna it came like this way from Delhi to Agra, one of the big river of India, one of the holy river, holy holy river of India. But can you see the red tower over there? Mm. People yeah. said this is the foundation of the black marble Taj Mahal. 
but this is just the foundation of the black marble Taj Mahal. This is the white one he built for his wife. That's why she's having a two minute center of Taj. But the King Shah Jahan, he's gonna build one more Taj Mahal for himself in black marble on that side. But he couldn't complete that one. Do you know why? Because of his son, the son, because of his son, the son of him, the last one, Aurangzeb, he said to his father, why are you spending lots of money on the building like this? This money used for the people of India. That's why son put a miniature fort over there. He died there naturally when he was 76 years old. Then after that, I buried him in Taj Mahal next to his wife. And it's just become a black Taj Mahal foundation. All right. But in that time, in those days, he spent to build this Taj Mahal 40 million rupees. This white marble is true materially get free as Emperor of India. He just paid for labor 22 years, 20,000 people, 40 million rupees, around about 400 years back when gold was 10 rupees per ton now. But nowadays, gold was 50,000 rupees per ton now. So he has to spend lots of money on the another monument, but it's not a stock monument, but I mean a house arrest. Understand that? Yeah. The building is there, which is called mosque for the Muslim people to pray. Exactly the building is here that is called guest house. They both are same symmetrical inside and outside. On each Friday, Taj Mahal is closed. When you open two hours for the local Muslim people, they're allowed to come inside the mosque and pray in, in the mosque on Friday, then after they go outside. This is the building, the guest house. When King Shah Jahan having a personal guest like you, they live in this guest house. I told you outside there are 210 rooms for the common people. This is for the blind people. But inside there are beautiful things. In that time, like hard paid furniture, but not now anymore. Just and now there's empty hall. Fresh and feel the marble, the surface like this, it is flat or not. What do you feel? Fresh and feel the marble, it is flat or not. Feel here. Feel like this, it is flat or not. Feel the surface. Mm. What do you feel? Very flat. Alright. Bottom, leave it now. Bottom to top, top to bottom, it is flat from here to up there. Up from there to here, this is in one piece like this, flat. Alright. Mm. But if you see from this distance, this one. In, from the center. Like 3D. It looks like in 3D, like in three dimension shape like this. Mm. It looks like that it goes in, but it's not goes in, it's not goes out, it is just plain flat, which is a feel. You know why it looks like that? Why? Because of design, because of the pattern, because of the V-shape, it looks like in 3D and that's why that is called optical illusion. Mm. So they know about 3D 400 years back. Mm. <coughs> तो ताज मिल के हुए हमारे दर्शन पूरे तो ये हमारे गाइड भी हैं इन्होंने बहुत अच्छा हमें बताया तो भैया प्लीज अपना नाम एड्रेस अपना फोन नंबर वगैरह सब शेयर कर दीजिए माय नेम इज रिशाद माय फोन नंबर इज 8859400271 और जब भी आपका ताज महल चक्कर लगे तो भैया के पास आइए और भैया का 1000 रुपीस चार्ज है जो गाइड चार्ज तो अब हम जा रहे हैं अपनी पार्किंग की ओर अपनी गाड़ी लेके वापस दिल्ली जाएंगे और हमारा ताज महल का जो टूर था बहुत बढ़िया लगा तो कैसा लगा आपको काफ़ी अच्छा टूर रहा और क्या सेकंड टाइम आया हूँ मैं तो ये हमारे साथ जो भैया गाइड है उन्होंने काफ़ी इन्फॉर्मेशन दिया हमें और आवाज़ है ताज महल बल्ले बल्ले तो अगर आपको हमारी वीडियो अच्छी लगी हो तो प्लीज़ लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब जरूर कीजिएगा थैंक यू सो मच